So, with all that said, I am going to work to go forward and continue in this process, this journey that is my life. Welcome to Avenue's World, the, the recovery room of Racism Not Anonymous, where you you know, get to see and consider me, if you will, the poster child for trauma and traumatic stress, <laughs> the effects of it. I will be sharing with you my symptoms, uh, my signs, symptoms, and solutions. <laughs> yeah, how about that? Signs, symptoms, and solutions. Um, signs of the time <laughs> on, a, on a social, societal level. Because, you know, shit flows down. Down the pole, shit flows down. So, we'll be talking about the signs of the time on a societal level as it relates to trauma, the national trauma that has happened and that continues to happen. And because shit flows down and because on a societal level was was where the bang is coming from, and it, it, and it is, uh, you know, um, the most difficult of traumas to, to address, the most complex and the most, you suppose it's caused the most damage, if you will, and because it's, it's traumatic stress of the human intentional type. It's based on human intentional acts of abuse. That type of psychological and emotional trauma or psychological trauma which by default also uh, affects the emotions and the emotional state as its primary target that's the impact is on the emotional state oh you know trauma psychological just hurt your heart why would you smack me like that why would you human intention or why I just walked up and said hi. He said, "Bam!" Say, like, "Oh, the hell!" So that's what we're talking about: signs, signs, and then the symptoms. How it shows up in the community, family, and individual. Because I'll be displaying the symptoms, and I'll share with you what they are as they come up. Because that's what I do, and that's what I can do, and that's the best that I can do with what I have. Because you understand when people have experienced significant and ongoing complex traumatic stress. And see, you know, as we understand PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, um, um, it, it is focused, the, it's the individual as the focal point in terms of solely what has happened to the individual in terms of maybe rape, uh, child abuse, uh, neglect, um, uh, a physical accident, um, uh, uh, acts like that, they think about with uh, individual with examples of stra traumatic, st stressful situations. Those actions are perpetrated typically by family members or members in the community. Post traumatic slavery disorder takes into account, though, the societal influence in that shit. <laughs> and how on a societal level acts of abuse and intentional harm directed towards people of African descent was uh, initiated and implemented and it is just woven into the very fabric of this flip flopping nation this is a national crime it's a national trauma it's a national abuse They're the nation, it's just it's, it's embedded you know, this whole place was built based on domestic abuse and political terror aimed at the African descendant. And so we can say, we know that in 1619, the first uh, uh, 20 Africans stepped off a boat onto the shores of what we now call America. Kaka. Some of us call it, recognize it. And we know that the process of actual uh, 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 slavery, physical bondage, 
uh, as we know it was today, did not start that domestic abuse, that political terror, didn't it start right there in 1619, I think, I forget, maybe about like 1650 or so, when it became clear to, you know, the folks who started this shit, the white folks from all over the place that came here and started this, um, that the domestic abuse and political terror began its reign in the lives of African descendants, right here in this place we call home, this place we now call home, also known as America, United States. Society, shit flows down. And so the same things that were done, the same ways of thinking about us, and the same things that were done to us, done to us as a community of people, and we as family members, individual family members, and families teach each other how to behave when you go out in the community and out in the society. Most people get their spiritual instruction, however, from the societal level in the form of religion, and this program of recovery supports people of African descent with reconnected with the spiritual for their source. Spirit. Spirit is the feelings. So you have to deal with the feelings in order to heal from the traumatic stress. And reawaken that spirit, that African spirit, your feelings. And be able to use them in an appropriate way. <laughs> see, what we, let me see how much time we have. <laughs> Uh, what is this? Oh, we are pretty not too bad. All right, the light. Let me see. I don't know. Okay, I will. I'll, 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 I wonder what it's going to look like. I'm going to do it right now. So what I was going to say is, um, and then that might be a little too What was it? What was I about to say? Um. Anyway, the process of recovery is reclaiming our culture, but the spiritual trauma disables spirit feeling state. Um, and we are, it, it is possible to reconnect to that feeling state and be able to use those feelings, that spiritual energy that is we, in a way that helps us so we don't no longer have to be afraid of our emotion and our feelings. Um, so even with this work, Trauma and Recovery, I still recognize that this is a woman of European descent who wrote this and that there um, are some, there's going to be some obfuscation, I believe is the term, uh, of truth and reality for African descendants um, and a relationship with Europeans and, you know, because this this uh, process of um, abuse, <laughs> intentional abuse and trauma, traumatic stress, it is pervasive on the societal level, and the society that we live in is currently a system of racism, white supreme lunacy. White people have been encouraging this shit, we started this shit, and I want to talk about some shit to finish and fix some shit for me. That's what this is about. Till next time, thanks for listening to me share.